it's the holidays. So your timeline is being bombarded by companies wishing you a happy Yuletide. We at Keto Chow would like to do the same, but with one big difference. We actually mean it. And to prove it, we'll show you a baby in a Santa hat. Oh, I could just eat you up. A dog in reindeer antlers. Oh, so cute. Santa with some champagne. I hope you're not driving later. And a snow angel. Wait, wait. And a snow angel. So while other companies send you season's greetings like this, we at least took the time to gift wrap ours. Merry Christmas, everyone. Vacuum. <laughs> Hi, I'm going to stop the vacuum. <laughs> I'm your co-founder and COO of Keto Chow. I'm Chris, also co-founder, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. If you are brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon for daily updates on all our Keto Chow happenings. These live streams help us be accountable and stay on Thanks so much for joining us on our keto journey. <laughs> I just thought I, Crystal was like, so cute. Like the baby's like, I could just eat you up. <laughs> right? <laughs> you. <laughs> um, Sorry you didn't see us laughing. We couldn't hear it. So it wasn't yes. as funny. It wasn't. Well, I'd watched it before. I know, but it was funnier when totally we Totally not it. stock footage. Oh, when I watched it the first time, I laughed out loud. At yes. The totally not A lot of footage. laughter. It was laughter. hilarious. And I was like, Ben, I want to show that for the live stream tonight. And he's like, oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> so anyway. So we skipped our Christmas message. Yeah, and I didn't I open up the early. comments until later. So, excuse me, so I didn't see a lot of other stuff. Looks like Maya's on, so it's Becca and Debbie. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Becca says there were 10 gingerbread packages from myself. Wow. And then my gingerbread. What are you doing? Chris is getting a phone call. Yeah, I'm getting a phone call. Can you guys hear the... The modem? It's a 56K modem. Mm -hmm. Oop, not anybody I know. Anyway, uh, let's see. Becca says, I guess I'll see you all over at the 2KK live stream later tonight. Yeah. yeah. And Except so, us because we'll be at the high school. And it is awfully convenient mm -hmm. that they had to change their time and mm -hmm. we had to change our time because we have a concert, a choir yeah. concert. And Three Delco. of our children are singing. Actually, one of them is not singing. No, I think she's singing. Ruth? Yeah, I believe yeah. she is. She's singing and playing the bells. Bells, bells, bells. Uh, let's see. Radical Geek says, hello, everyone. Jerry says, hello, my friends. Hope you're having a wonderful night. Pam says, I'm wishing everyone a uh, happy Tuesday also. Yeah. We, we she says, Yuletide. That's a new laundry detergent. Right. Maya says, boo, gingerbread ad. <laughs> oh, it's I did take the gingerbread off and put that on. And <laughs> Rick Wynn says, good evening, everyone. Rihanna says, hello, Keto friends. Still working, but I'll pop over when I can okay, between, between calls. calls. Uh, let's see. Sabrina says, I'm trying to decide what kind of keto chow dessert to make for our Christmas get together this Sunday. Man. It needs, to be, needs to be something with not a lot of steps. Yeah, easy. Uh, just do the pudding. Yep. Pudding's the easiest. Joe has his uh, ba a the banana pudding pie. Pudding pie. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Carrie says, hello, everyone. Hey, Carrie. <laughs> Susan says, when are you telling us about the new stuff? Tomorrow yeah. morning. We so have news. Let's see. If Tomorrow I morning. share. On, on uh, our YouTube channel. Here's the not too crazy ketos. Keto chow. The keto chow. Uh, you'll notice that there is a premiere video set up mm -hmm. for tomorrow at our regularly scheduled live stream time and then we'll do our live stream after it yep so we'll have we'll have two because you'll come into that one and then we'll start another one right yes we can't get onto this one it's already re pre-recorded yep so it'll talk about my channel and we're doing it that way so that we could get you all the information yep it was also handy because in the middle of filming it i had to Put it, you know, like put in credit card number so it could do it. And it's like, there's my credit card number. Whoopsie. I'm like, wow, I'm Delete really glad out. this wasn't live streamed. <laughs> <laughs> like it was bad. Anyway, so, so he says, good evening, everyone. Jen's on, so it's easy. And Christy Davis says, hi, kid, Jeff Beats. Trisha says, hello, everyone. Jen says, it was probably that dude scam likely. Probably. Probably. And he says, good evening, Chow Fam. Um, Sonny says, my lost chow box showed up at a distrib distribution center about an hour and a half away, so maybe it'll show up here tomorrow. A girl can always dream, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Purple Ace says, stop that, Carrie. You are not a joke. You are a funny guy. Mm -hmm. 
Suzanne says, hi, everyone. Michelle says, just try gingerbread, hoping there's still some available for after Christmas. I think we have we'll see. quite a lot. Yeah, I should pull it up and see how much we have left. Um, I mean, just on the site. Shop. Shop. Shoppy shop pants. Shoppy shop. There it is. Yeah, it's gingerbread. Ooh. It's about two not quite, now. Not quite mm. halfway. So we still have some. Yay. We do indeed. Maya says, hey, Chris, thanks for talking about lemon meringue. Having it now for dinner. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Nice. On the video that we recorded talking about uh, my chow. Yeah. He we kept, kept on talking about, about lemon meringue. meringue. And I'm like, sure. I want apple pie. This <laughs> says we're in chow hounds. Uh, Jen says that gingerbread cheesecake looks good. Oh, I'm making yes. banana pudding pie tomorrow. Minus the crust. <laughs> See, that's the thing. You don't need crust. You don't, don't, don't have ramekins. to make the crust. And then it's just delicious still. Crystal, the cheesecake fluff is yummy. It is. Exposing Darkness True. says, is the pumpkin sausage soup spicy? It depends on if you use spicy. Pickles. Yes. And you know what? I don't think it's spicy and it has jalapenos in it, mm -hmm. but it can be spicier um, depending on how many jalapenos you put in it or how long you cook it. But if you are worried about it being spicy, just put a green bell pepper instead. There you go. And then it's not spicy at all. That's right. Uh, Susan says, perfect. Thank you. Yes. Dallas exactly. says, I've always had a problem with low vitamin D, D, but my recent blood work showed my D is finely in the range after four months of keto. Yeah. We actually so put, um, let's see, is it 100%? Yeah. 100% of the U.S. recommended vitamin D, and it's the right kind of vitamin D. It's mm -hmm. the uh, vitamin D3. Yep. Every serving of keto chow has what the USDA is recommending for 100% which I think is off significantly. Mm -hmm. What you actually need is a lot more than what the USDA right. Yes. So that's why there's considerably more. So there you go. And that's awesome, Dom. Uh, Thank you. Sarah says, hi. Sarah? Rand says, uh, were you able to look into the recipe issues? It still won't. Oh, yes. We're still having problems with that. Unfortunately, uh, the people who work on that were I don't sick today. Sad. Um, Gina says, good evening, everyone. Back on the, back to the worms from this morning when it rains in California, all the worms squirm for their lives out of the flooded grass area. Yes. Uh, let's see. Maya says, hi, Sarah. Uh, Debbie says, my box says it just left yesterday. Really? The chow club? Oh, man. Oh, dang. She also says, I checked too, just hoping there's plenty left. Okay. Oh, yes. A gingerbread. Supposing darkness says, hello. 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 Lance says, hello, everyone. Mary says, I am quickly buying some. Um, Elizabeth said, recipe card request, sell sets by month of the Chow Club. They were in. Yeah. That is we should guy. do that. Thank you. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> Elizabeth said. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maya says, I love that. Matreya says, but Joe's pie crust is amazing. Yes. It is amazing. It is. Um, yeah. It's amazing. Let's see. What's the best way to find it? time, it's okay. Like, That's you true. have permission to make the pie without the crust. It's all good. Yeah. And well, that pie crust, so he made, doesn't use almond flour. He used coconut flour mm -hmm. and a few other things. And I think that's the best pie crust I've ever had. I know. I really like it. Um, I'm trying to remember the best way to find that. Can't you just get it off his website? Or is it Let's on our, uh, you just have to Google it because our recipe is yeah, being Yeah, keto really... chow pie Joe stuffer. Mm-hmm. That's he it. Yes, chocolate cream pie. Yep. Joe Stoffer. So, good. And there's so there's the video. this video. So the pie crust, this is enough for two. Why is Link calling me? Because somebody didn't turn on the alarm correctly. No, hold on a second. Here, you talk about it. Okay, something. I'll talk about the coconut flour. Xanth, are you sharing? Did you see? Sharing. Um, erythritol, two eggs, vanilla extract, yeah, you're talking with and Chris? butter. So everybody's Bear? leaving right now for the warehouse and uh, somebody probably turned the alarm on on us and then they it went off. So that's what he's doing. Anyway, it's, yeah, it's so, it's a great recipe. And we actually have used other people's pies inside of it. So we did Carrie Brown's um, pecan pie and we've done All Day I Dream About Food, like pumpkin pie and just put it in that. And the nice thing is it makes two and so Chris will do, um, he'll double it. And so we'll have four pie crusts and then we can save them for another time. Like we actually have had saved them in the ball like before we lay, um, flattened it out. So that was yeah. really, the pie crust is great. Okay. But yes, make it without the pie crust because that'll save you some time. Oh, did we put the link? Did no, the link? I'm sorry. I didn't do that. That's okay. I wasn't sure if we were sharing. We were. I think we were. And I was getting a call from the alarm company because people didn't close the door right. Yeah. Stephanie says, having better experience with Kyocha. 
Uh, let's see. Carla says, my daughter made our breakfast brownies with Kyocha pumpkin spice and Little Lily's pumpkin spice chips. Well, that sounds good. Yes. Kathy says, good evening. Elizabeth says, thank you. Kim says, stop my walking YouTube for you guys. She meant watching. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. They. Uh, Mary says, have you considered adding vitamin K2 to complement the D3? We, we you do have that. Uh, yeah, the... Mm -hmm. The vitamin, well, it actually has listed on here. So it's got it's too hard to menaquinonium. Mm -hmm. K2. It's technically MK7 mm -hmm. is the specific version, but it is a version of vitamin K2. And there is, wow, that's really small on this little. It is really small. Do you have a big bag? I've got a big bag. Okay. There is uh, vitamin K2, 400 micrograms of it. Okay. So. The idea is with keto chow. You have to have K2 in order to absorb yeah. D3. As, long, as well as magnesium and a bunch of other things. And some fat. Yeah, it would be kind of silly for us not to include that one. Because otherwise, if you're a crazy person who's only eating keto chow for 100 days, you would uh, start to have bleeding disorders. Yes, and that's problematic. Yeah, so you got to have the K2. <laughs> um Let's see. Carrie says, I saved it when it aired for coconut pie. Perfect. Synergy says, well, from Central Florida, I was here a little early, but listening while I was cooking dinner. Well, welcome. Yeah. What are you having for dinner tonight? No. Uh, I'm probably going to have keto chow because we have to run. I think and, I will mm. too. Uh, let's see. Patty says, I cannot wait to try that for the first time. I loved how you combined the orders for shipping. Yay, Patty. I'm so glad. Christian says, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> it was him, probably, that combined the shipping. Um, <laughs> it might have been. Matreya says, I think I might try this method, not, but use the egg bread protein flour and see how it works. No reason, but curious. Mm -hmm. uh, Sarah says, I think a chill pie would be. A chili pie. Chili pie. Would be yummy. Actually, I, I, I yeah. like that. Okay, so so speaking of a pie, mm -hmm. um, the the recipe that is Press for disaster. that looks like a pie that has like the, the cornbread topping. Oh, okay. What is it? Uh, tamale pie. The tamale pie. So good. Let's see if I can find You'll it. have to Google that too. Keto <laughs> chow tamale, tamale pie. pie. It's so good. We should have it tomorrow. Um, except you still need to make you Joe's mean, the chili. The next day. So there it is. Let me copy that. Mm. And it's it's inexpensive because you use ground beef. We could use your engineered um, beef in that. Yes, we could. And that would just add to it. Uh, let's see. Becca says, I got my question answered by Dr. Barry, so I'm back here. <laughs> I need my keto chat people. Ellen says, I gave up and checked out what others had posted regarding the December um, chow club. Oh, good. Delivering my box and also my gingerbread order has been delayed. <laughs> Hopefully it's soon. Okay. Synergy says so MK7 is good. Yes, it is. It is good. Mary says I couldn't read too small. So thanks for con confirming K2. Yeah, now, it, is, now, it is really small. Another way you can do it, um, if you go to learn, yes. you go to nutrition. It should be on here and it is bigger, right? It should be bigger. Where is the thing? There, oh, it, there is. it is. It's right there. Yeah. So uh, you can, not clicking. Uh -huh. well, but there it is. See nutrition if you click on that. Oh, well, let's do that. Okay. I recently updated these. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So there's the beef soup. Can you zoom that in? Oh, yeah. there we go. That's a little bit easier. Let's see. I'm a hard time. There it is. It's still a little hard to see. So, oh, it's still hard to see. <laughs> it even more. Uh, well, that's it's just a little blurry because you have to keep the file size down. Anyway, vitamin K, 40 UG. UG. Yeah, that little UG is weird, huh? <laughs> it means microgram. It means, yeah. You I, could also I do MCG, but yeah. Uh, let's see, Hoopcat says, hello everyone, I'm vacay in Florida, and I was going out to walk the dogs, and I got a notification of your live, so I took you along. You hello, I want to walk with you. <laughs> and the dogs. Uh, let's see, Lori says, it would be super cool if you could reach out to Anit. Anit? I don't know. Anita. Who's that? Who's her? Keep, keep working the words. Keep telling the words. She might have, might have been posting something. We, If you retract the message, we still see the original. Oh, yes. So. I'm sorry. She says, dinner tonight is warm keto chow, chocolate peanut butter. I had chocolate peanut butter for <laughs> breakfast and for lunch. I had a taste of some. Uh, Matreya says, whew, I'm worn out. I wanted to listen to live streams. I worked extra hard to do my short bike ride. Now I'm freezing. Oh, man. Get in um, your Sherry bed made the lazy engineer blanket. beef yesterday. Yummy. Um, we have actually been selling a lot of the beef beef soup base. Yeah, I think we're going to Turns out you can use any of the savory flavors mm -hmm. um, to do that. 
like the taco or the tomato. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are really liking the lazy engineer. And someone's it's like, really why are we nice. selling so much of the beef soup? I'm like, uh, that might be my fault. Maybe. Because I'm so lazy. Well, and even like, even if you use the taco or the tomato, it's still mild enough that you can mm -hmm. just add it in any other recipe and it just adds a little bit yep. more punchy flavor. So. It's true. It's nice. Carol says, well, hello, you're on early this evening. Yes, yes we are. Our kids are singing at the high school tonight, so we're going to go to that. Yep. Carrie says, some beef soup keto chow ice cream. Ooh. No, no, no. Ooh. Uh, Jeremy says, good evening. Good. Becca says, thanks. Good Jerry. Uh, Andrew says, hello to all. Jerry says, good evening. Uh, let's see. Rihanna says, I cooked pork in the crock pot and added beef soup, and it was delicious. Perfect. Uh, Blaine did that as well. We have he done made, that before. Instead of lazy uh, engineered, engineered beef, beef, it was engineered pork. Yep. <laughs> and I'm the lazy engineer, by the way. Yeah, not Blaine. Somebody was asking, like, why is it called lazy engineer? That doesn't make any sense. I'm like, it doesn't. I'm the no. lazy engineer, and it was my recipe, which isn't much of a recipe. Which is just nothing. Uh, Sherry's going to try it with uh, taco next time. Yes. Sherry's just taco keto chai. Again, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, says, uh, engineer beef sounds like it's made from soybeans. <laughs> right? It sounds like it's just like a, a Impossible Burger or something. Carrie's on. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Maya says, I need to get a big bag of chicken. Uh, yeah. So many recipes I want to try. There are a lot of recipes with chicken. Chicken has a, is very versatile. It's really great. And Carrie says, if you make taco keto chai ice cream, it might be something to talk about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rina says, it's not really a dessert, but I think I'm going to make the Muddy Buddies. Yeah. So my, you talked about earlier today, that seems really simple. It actually is. It is really simple. simple. And you, if you have one of those big containers of the. Pork yes, rind. like the pork rind container you can stir it up in. Yep. Uh, it's really good with the chocolate toffee, too. Yes, it is. So it's it's just good everywhere. <laughs> D says, ways. is there an adaptation period? Sometimes for keto chow. I just started using your great product, but my tummy was just a bit upset and had a little mm. flatulence. There can be. There can be. It depends on how used you are to that amount of fat, yeah. among other things. Um, and there's just an, uh, there's a, an adjustment period even for keto. Just going into keto, yeah. Um, and some people, they actually get constipation when they start keto chow. Some mm -hmm. people get, go the opposite way. Yep. And if you want to maybe try it for breakfast... Um, and you're having problems then, maybe try it for lunch and have a breakfast first so that you have a little bit on your stomach beforehand. So mm -hmm. that may help. Yep. Uh, Tukuri Kyo says, what's up, family? Hi. We're just waiting for you guys. It's our your stream. Uh, let's see. Holly says, Gracie would like to apologize for the alarm going up. She had a small crisis and thinks she thought she made it out in time. Apparently oh, not. No. <laughs> well, Chris took care of it. Yep. Faces, says, good evening, everyone. Maya says, Lynette, they are on top of the top of my list. Yeah. Nice. Uh, let's see. Susan says, I tried gingerbread this morning. So good. Then she says, I'm having ground beef with Redmond hickory smoke sauce. Oh, kitchen, that's primal sounds good. Kitchen steak sauce. Yeah, that doesn't look really good at all. Uh, Maria says, hi, guys. I had my first chocolate mint. Delish. My only complaint to that awful color. It is kind of awful. Well, and it's like it. the funny thing is the chocolate mint, mm -hmm. the key lime, and the pistachio They're are all the exactly same color. the same color. But the chocolate mint because has chocolate in. cocoa powder. Mm-hmm. And so it makes it that kind of weird color. Um, speaking of chocolate mint. It's the flavor of the week. Is it the flavor of the week? It is. Oh. Um, and it's the uh, 21 mil bulk bags, right? Yes. And you want to use code flavor, flavor of, of the, the week. week. And it's it's on the page. Mm -hmm. oh, I can just, just, just pull it up. Yeah, let's do it. So, I mean, you That's why there's all this minty freshness. Yeah, you click on that. And it actually adds the coupon code to your shopping. Mm -hmm. Uh, then you add it to your card. I've oh, got look. a bunch of other stuff. A lot of subscription Ooh. stuff. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, there's the chocolate mint. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's so yummy. So you will get you. I had see. that for breakfast. Susan said, I tried gingerbread this morning. So good. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Uh, Christy says, do you have a really good keto chow cookie recipe? We, we do have. Yeah, we have several. quite a few. Um, depends on what you're feeling. Yeah, unfortunately, our, Chocolate toffee our cookie. recipe search on our site is kind of broken right now. So you, you if you do. just do it. Keto chow cookie. Uh, if I can click on there. I believe in you. Let's see. So we're going to search Google keto, keto chow cookie. Mm. There's the chocolate toffee one. Which oh, is, yeah, yeah. That's and then good. there's the salty caramel. Snicker doodles are good, too. Yeah. Lots of them. Yeah, there's the cookie dough balls. Oh, and the lemon oh, ones. I actually really like the lemon crinkle yep. cookies. And there's another recipe, too. It's in the banana pudding that has the yeah, yeah. lemon cookie the lemon bottom. 
the lemon snap cookie, that's really good. And you can use that with multiple flavors. So you need to look up the lemon snap. So keto chow lemon snap cookie. Uh, let's see. Denise says, how many packets total for a cup uh, is a cup of the gingerbread for the cookies? I looked that up. Yeah. Uh, it's two and a half packets is one mm -hmm. cup. So. Yeah, I'm sorry yeah. that recipe says one cup and we don't have a bulk bag. We don't have a bulk bag. It, that, that recipe was originally for eggnog, which you can use the eggnog as well. Mm -hmm. And it was assuming that you were going to use a big bag to make it. But with the gingerbread, there are only the individual packets. And so it's two and a half. Yeah. So if you make two batches. Then it'd be five. <laughs> it would be five. <laughs> Um, Crystal says, Keto Chaff shortbread cookies. I believe we do have a shortbread cookie as well, don't we? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, so we covered the flavor of the week. We did have some questions that people had asked. Mm -hmm. um, Stacy wanted to know if we're ever going to have a starter pack that has all of the flavors of Keto Chow available. That is such a good question. And Chris really wants to have that. But with the seasonality going in and out, um, we haven't done that yet. We actually referred to it internally while we were <laughs> joking around about doing it as the fellowship of the flavors mm -hmm. because it would be one sample pack to rule them all, one sam sample pack to find them, <laughs> one sample pack to bring them all and in the darkness find And we decided not to do that, so sorry. It's true. So instead, what we had that's kind of like that, mm -hmm. if you go to our website, you go to shop, uh, the starter kits and bundles, mm -hmm. the or, no, the elite. the elite. The elite has all of the non seasonal flavors. Seasonal. Yeah, and non uh, limited edition flavors. And it has a couple of each one. So, for instance, there's three chocolate, there's two lemon meringue, there's only one banana, mm -hmm. um, and two vanilla, you know, different things. Plus, it has all the electrolytes and stuff like that. I am sharing, mm -hmm. I double checked. Yes. <laughs> um, but that's the closest you get to kind of try everything um you can come into here and order the individual mm -hmm. ones as well um oh, look, there's the mint it says it's on sale it's on sale has a happy flag happy flag so yeah it, there's not a good way to and it's just like miriam said because we have a bunch of seasonal flavors it makes it difficult to have a pre-made sample pack that has everything mm -hmm. i would really like to have that it, it would be really cool. And a lot of people are like, why don't you just make it? And it's like, well, we actually have reasons. And then I explain it to them and it takes like 10 minutes. And then they're like, oh. Okay, I see the reasons. I can see it. Okay. Uh, Matreya says, I can't decide which keto chow to have tomorrow. And in what form? I don't know. Ninja creamy. So hard. Orange mango. That, that's what you're having tomorrow. I actually brought it here and I offered it to you and it's sitting in the ref uh, freezer. Right. Did you not eat breakfast? I did not eat breakfast. I got too busy doing night chow stuff. Guess what I had for it's, lunch? It's ready to go for tomorrow. What, what did you have for lunch? I had uh, tuna melts with PSMF bread. Oh. And it was the lunch. Uh, let's see. Shauna is on ear hustling. Um, Lynette posted the lemon snap cookies. Elizabeth says my tarragon should be here tomorrow. Yes. I can't wait to make ice cream oh, and pudding. I'm so happy. Um, Debbie says, I got notice from USPS that the December chow box was going to be delivered yesterday. Mm -hmm. And this morning tracking showed your item departed our US, UPS facility in Omaha, Nebraska. What? Okay. He is here. He is here. And says, hey, yo, sorry I'm late. We were recording part three of our tips and tricks videos for the low carb cruise. Oh, cool. Thanks. So, Heath, speaking of you. Yes. That is what we were doing yesterday because we Apparently, were talking we were to a guy. Speaking of you. We were, oh, we, sure we were talking were to a guy you. whose wife has MS. Mm -hmm. And I said, You need to go follow this. Have you considered, mm -hmm. or has she considered, a ketogenic diet? And he said, Funny you should ask. We've talked about that, mm -hmm. but we it's always hard to find an easy way to get mm -hmm. keto when you are having problems. And he's like, And I'm, I, my full-time gig at home is like helping her mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I love it. And I said, well, we know this guy who has had fantastic results fantastic. with his MS by essentially going carnivore. I'm like, I think he eats fruit. And by fruit, I mean jalapeno jalapenos, peppers. which <laughs> are fruit. Um, and he's had just fun, fantastic. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Results. Results. Uh, so thanks for MS. being a good 
example that we yep. could talk to. Oh, wow. That's what my baby said. It's the my kids. Five stars. It's the same. It's from Phineas and Ferb. Um, he said, oh, yeah, he said, hey, yo. Um, Matreus says, every flavor keto chow going to wind up with black licorice and earwax. No. <laughs> you shouldn't have even read that. Baby bots, every, every flavored beans. Now I, need, <laughs> I, now I need to make an earwax. Don't even say that out loud. I'm going to make one. No. And I'm going to send it to Matre and said, you have Gross. to eat this. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> you reap what you sow, young lady. Um, anyway, Joanne says you should have a summer and a winter limited edition box. That would be cool. That would be cool. That's a good idea. Let's write that down. Crystal too. says, I'm male crazy right now. Gina says, Miriam's hair does look amazing. Thank you for noticing, Gina. Yeah. He says, jalapenos, pickles, and pickles. There you go. Are pickles a fruit? I think they are. There uh, somebody says, yeah, I love that there are so many recipes to try with keto chat, but my lazy side is even happier. It tastes good as a shake or as ice cream. He says, thank you all so much. Uh, Matre says, my spouse has great results after having to be keto with me. That's awesome. Nice. <laughs> Ew, earwax. <laughs> uh, my says, the, uh, the every flavored beans was my first thought, too. Carrie says, there should be a cow patty keto chat flavor. There is. It's beef. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Stop saying gross things, or I'm getting off. But we're talking about a, a patty of, of beef. Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, he says, "Oops, jalapenos, pickles, and avocados." Yes, those right. are avocados all, are all fruit. That's a fruit as well. Which avocado oil is a fruit oil, as is olive oil. Okay. Which, whenever people are talking about oils that you should use, fruit oils. And the funny thing is, coconut oil. It's this weird classification where yeah, it's, it's a like, fruit and a nut, depending on uh, the definition it's just that you use. the perfect oil. All right. There was a question um, on one of our live streams. They, okay. they wanted to know, I'm just wondering if we lose our old reward points with the new program. So you shouldn't. We moved them all over. It took a couple of days. Yeah, and there and were a couple that... Yep. If I you're worried about it because you felt like they were the couple that couldn't be imported... Mm -hmm. Um, reach out to us because we can we can apply. We can still again. look it up, and we can look it up yep. to make. We sure. We actually have access to the old system through January, mm -hmm. so there should be no problems. And I have a a backup of the old points. Mm -hmm. And if you had a uh, like a coupon code that you you had generated through the old system, mm -hmm. um, it's still active now. One thing I want to point out yes. on the new system. So the new system is just way easier to use. Mm -hmm. There is one caveat to that in the shopping cart there's a button that you can click that just applies your rewards points yeah if you have one which is so cool it is deliberately hidden if you have anything in your shopping cart that is a subscription yes but that doesn't mean you can't use it you can't yeah you can use it you just have to go over to the other spot where it. you can copy it and then paste, paste it, it in the, at the end and the reason for that is if you push the button that applies it it, it does weird things it to just, the subscription. Yeah, it just messes things up. So we're just not going to have it there. Yep. But it's there every other time, and it makes it, it works. super simple. And we found out that you can actually use re the rewards money, the, mm -hmm. the store credit, for your first subscription. Mm -hmm. It does make you put in a credit card for the sub sub subsequent. subsequent. Yes. <laughs> subsequent <laughs> subscriptions. Me speak good. Um, but yeah, you can use it to pay for the first one. Yeah. It works really well. Yeah, it's it's really great. So we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. He says, yes, cucumbers are fruit. Seeds are inside. It's a fruit. Shana says, sitting in a car in a parking lot, it's warm outside. It's cold. <laughs> mm. Sarah says, yeah, you can have pickled carrots, asparagus, and cucumbers. See, I don't like carrots anymore. They have the same amount of carbs as tomatoes and onions. onions. And if I'm going to eat a vegetable for gonna be an onion. purposes, it's going to be onions like but grilled you know onions. what everybody can eat whatever they want grilled onions bring me joy and carrots, carrots don't. i don't care about but they are pretty care about come on case carrie make a joke about caring about carrots i dare you uh-huh anyway <laughs> <laughs> puns on demand uh let's but see if they're pickled don't they just taste like pickles anyway no they taste like pickles. yeah like that to your ac says peanut butter and jelly keto chow no. <laughs> Duranda says, um, 
I make pudding every day. I use beef gelatin with Kyo Chow. Just love it. Nice. Love it. Uh, just a little gingerbread made into cookies. Have a happy holiday. Well, thanks. You too. Thank you. Uh, Matreya says, I haven't had guacamole in a while. Mm. Mm, yeah. Good. Guacamole does sound delicious. Too Crazy Keto says, let's make a jalapeno cheese Keto Chow. Mm. I tried for cheese flavor. Cheese is really hard. It's very hard. There's a lot of carbs in all of the cheese flavorings. But you know what's better? Just making any of the savories and dumping a handful of cheese Fully in there. Cheese in it. That, and that's why we have the beef soup base. Mm -hmm. Because we were trying all these different, like, uh, like a miso soup flavor and mm -hmm. a um, what's it called? clam chowder flavor and all these yes. other things. And I was like, because you can add this. And I'm like, wait a minute. Or you could just add it. Why don't we just leave it unflavored? Mm -hmm. It has all the vitamins and minerals. And then you can add stuff to make it that flavor. Because real cheese and bacon. Is better than cheese and bacon Beef. flavor. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so he says, "Have you ever thought of making a chocolate cherry flavor?" Oh no, 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 we chocolate haven't. Cherry. We keep. I keep trying to make cherry work, and it just tastes like cough, cough syrup. syrup or cough drops, to be more specific. Either way. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Glenn says, "Evening, everyone. Welcome, Glenda." Becca says, "Steve from Serious Keto oh. has a recipe for pickled list." Yes, he does, and it's something like, "This shouldn't be this good, but it is." <laughs> I want some <laughs> yeah. of that. Um, is it pickled lettuce or pickled cabbage? I think it's pickled lettuce. I think you're right. I don't right. know. I do know that the, um, the, the, uh, what's it called? Dill relish. Mm -hmm. Like the number is it, it's either one or two ingredient is cabbage. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I Tricky love cabbage. dill relish. So last night when I was at the store at nine o'clock at night mm -hmm. getting the prescription, I got some stocking stuff okay. and I got myself a a jar of relish to put in my stocking. <laughs> <laughs> Stay right. on track. Stay on target. Uh, Lori says, I just got back from 20 grandson Christmas program. Whoa, okay. Oh. Uh, let's see. Maya says, if we miss the My Chow video in the morning, can we watch it later? Yes. yes. Yeah. So it'll be a premiere mm -hmm. and we'll be in there chatting with people during the premiere. Um, and then as soon as it's over, I actually have it set up to automatically redirect everyone who's watching it over to the live stream cool. that will be starting immediately after. Yeah. I'm putting all kinds of use to this stuff. All the weirds. Yeah. Uh, my oh, says roasted carrots are joyous. See, they bring you joy? Then yeah. Awesome. You should have those. Matreya says I didn't like carrots before. Benefit of keto. You don't need to eat carrots. Okay. Right? Uh, exposing darknesses right on you with real. <laughs> yeah, they're good. And you know, I like those little pearl onions too. I think they may even be higher in carbs because yeah, they're exactly like sweeter. Too. But you could just have like one or two with some uh, tomatoes and uh, yeah. Okay. So, Carrie says, I don't have any material for your hood puns. Most of the ones I did by post, I sold from the. Yes, but here's your challenge you yeah. got to make a carrot pun. I guess you have to look it up. Sorry, Chris is I challenging you. Challenge accepted. Mm -hmm. uh, Sean says, does that mean guacamole is a mashed fruit bowl? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, mashed fruit Absolutely. bowl. Absolutely. Throw some tomatoes in it. It's really fruity. Mm-hmm. Lori says, eating raspberry cheesecake creamy with white chocolate chips. Yes. Yeah. Um, didn't you buy some white chocolate chips last night? They're on the counter. No, I don't think I bought white chocolate. Well, I there's I bought kind of chocolate chips. Mint and regular. Oh, yeah. Exposing Darkness says, yeah, pickled lettuce. Jessica mm -hmm. is on. Welcome, I Jessica. Try that. Mimi says, hello. Almost forgot the early live chat. Well, oh, yeah. welcome. Glad you're here. And Shauna says, okay, running into the store. Don't, don't hit anything. Yeah. Randy says, good evening. Uh, Madre says, awesome, because I have to miss tomorrow for me. Oh, I'll see. Uh, Randy says, I'm doing the BB beef butter bacon and eggs challenge. Nice. And I miss my keto challenge. Awesome, like, Randy, that you're doing that, though. Right? I'm glad you're doing that. Okay, we had another question. Okay. Um, guy named Chris. Not me, Chris. Different Chris. There's a hey. lot of us. Chris is all around. At school, I didn't ever go by Chris. I always went by Bear. Mm -hmm. And at my last job, there were three of us Chris's on the same. There were three Miriams in my high school. That is so I've weird. Never, never met never another met person me. named Miriam. Anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, this Chris says, can you tell me the difference between shakes like 310 and Keto Chow? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. So... 310 and a lot of other shakes, not all shakes, a lot of times are just a protein 
and they have maybe a little bit of minerals and vitamins, but ours is a complete meal. They're like a protein supplement or a protein snack. Yeah, which you can add to keto chow. You can you can add it to have more protein uh, to your day. But if you eat that as your meal, you're going to be hungry. Not only are you going to be hungry, but earlier we were talking about vitamin K2, mm -hmm. vitamin D3, magnesium. I have never seen a meal replacement shake. Yeah, that has those vitamins. That, that has those vitamins in it. Because usually it's designed to be a snack or something just to tide you over. And just to give you, it's mostly focused on giving you protein, which is great. It is protein. It's yep. great. Um, another way to look at it is if you were doing a ketogenic diet and for whatever reason you had to be on a liquid only diet, mm -hmm. let's say you got dental surgery or something to that effect, Keto Chow is designed that if you needed to, you could live on it exclusively. Mm -hmm. That's the design parameters. Now, we're not recommending that you do that or saying that you have to do that. Yep. But that option is available and it is designed that way. And if you're crazy, you can live on it for 100 days. <laughs> 300 and, no, it was 298 consecutive, consecutive meals. meals. Because I forgot to eat twice. <laughs> anyway, that's the big difference. Um, also, it tastes delicious, mm -hmm. and we're not a giant multinational company. That's right. <laughs> uh, okay, Mike says the carrots don't care about you, so why should you care about the carrots? Yeah, Ooh, I care that's about the carrots. Not bad. Bet you Carrie can do better. Mm. <laughs> anyway, um, Alan is on. Hi, Alan. Uh, let's see. Elizabeth says, who is the only Elizabeth in the entire school? Really? Wow. That's kind of cool. I love Elizabeth. I wanted to name one of our kids Elizabeth. But we didn't. Oh, yes. I wanted Catherine it to be Elizabeth. Catherine Elizabeth, but I thought that was a really long name. That's true. <laughs> Maya says, no meal replacement shake, except Kyo Chow has ever been filling for me, and I'm completely obsessed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Elizabeth says, Hawaii. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. Um, okay, same Chris also asked, Okay, tell me why it seems most others' meal replacement shakes offer, offer 15 meal bags and ours is a 21 meal bag. Oh, yeah. We've had this that question before. very good question. Um, it's actually kind of funny uh, because when we designed it, we looked at how much a week would be. And if you had three meals a day for a week, that would last you 21, 21, meals. 21 meals. And so we thought, that's a cool idea. So yep. let's do that. Uh, we also like putting 30 meals in makes sense. Uh, Scam likely is calling me. So putting 30 <laughs> meals in makes sense, but it was a little bit more difficult to put it into the bag that we wanted. So we just kind of decided on that 21 meal so that it could be a week. And we actually used to call them week bags. So if you ever hear us referring to the bulk meal bag as a week bag, it's because it's an old habit. And there are still spots <laughs> on our website where we call it that. And we yep. do only have two sizes of keto chow. Mm -hmm. There's a, a video specifically about this where it's like, why don't you have a 10 meal size? Why don't mm -hmm. you have a three meal size? Why don't you have 15 or a 75 or a 100 meal size or a giant five gallon bucket, which is what Mike wants Yeah. of keto chow. Well, we only have two sizes because we're trying to keep the cost of keto chow yes. at Down. a minimum. And that's why it's also in the bags and not in a hard container. Yeah, because a hard container sure looks nice and it fits nice in the cupboard yep. and it's easy to get out of. Get the scoop out. So, but they don't ship very They don't much. ship and they don't ship uh, as inexpensively. And now we're we're paying for the shipping, yeah. but in the years past, we so we're still had... we're still trying to save our costs on mm -hmm. shipping. Yeah. And with the conformable bags, we can fit them into boxes and just kind of like they flow mm -hmm. into it's like almost they like fit they the shapes. Fit. Yeah. And so we mm -hmm. have the only the two sizes to um, optimize, and uh, it's for efficiency of scale yeah. more than anything else. So you have the individual packets, so you can try stuff out, see what you like. We can do limited editions. Um, the I guess the it's it's not as difficult. It's not as risky. That's the word I'm looking for mm -hmm. for us to do an individual meal, and we can just do a couple thousand like the gingerbread. See how it works. If it sells really well, we can carry it. We can bring it back. Um, like the, the, what's it called? Mm, pina colada mm -hmm. or the apple pie. Apple pie is a great example. 
We brought it out last year at this time. Mm -hmm. It was a first. It was only available as part of our holiday bundle. Yeah. And ooh, we just plowed through those. Then we brought back apple pie, but it was only available for a limited time. Yep. And then it came back in big bags. And for the longest time, everyone's like, bring back apple pie, bring back apple Yeah, pie. it took us a while to, to get it all in, though. So yeah, it's true. It's, it's, it's crazy. So, excuse me. Anyway, so we only have the two sizes. Also, another thing about why we don't do a, a larger bag is keto chow doesn't get damaged in shipping a lot. But when it does, well, it, it brings sorrow to my soul yeah. to see the keto chow gone. And a 21 meal bag damaged, it's like, okay, 21 meals, not that big. If it was like 50 meals or something. A five gallon that bucket, would hurt. that would be terrible. So there was at one point where we had a, what's called a super sack. Yes. And it's it looks like the, the giant lawn bags that oh, yeah. have like the big handles. Mm -hmm. That's the size of a pallet. And we had one of our employees fork it with the forklift. Yep. And it was just like, it's like you just forked a car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what flavor it was. It was snickerdoodle. It's the worst. Wasn't it Holly? Oh, it wasn't Holly. <laughs> Fairly certain it was. <laughs> J Dog says my niece's name is was. Catherine Elizabeth. It's a C. Yeah, that's exactly the um, name, right? Amy says I just got my gingerbread kios out. Chow, I need to make it. Yes, you do. Yes. Pam is on. Pam. Hi, Amy Pam. says I made the pumpkin sausage soup chili over the weekend, and the hubs really loved it. Yay. That's because it's yeah. amazing. So good. Right? And again, if you don't like spicy stuff, you can make it without the peppers. Mm -hmm. You can even just use green peppers. But the sweetness of the pumpkin, pumpkin keto chow overshadows the sausage the tartan or the bitter with the spiciness. Spiciness. I can't think of the word. It's so good. Did you know that there's a little container of that in our fridge? In the fridge at home. We should probably just have that for dinner. Mm -hmm. We could split it. It's like um, this big. Elizabeth says, Oh, and thank you for the multi mug mug cake recipe card. Yeah, I'm glad you got it. Have we even talked about that? No. Okay. <laughs> we don't we, have uh, to. We're not going to talk about it? Great. No. Uh, Matreya says, I love the pina colada. Uh, Pam says, I just took pork belly. To thought. Nice. Yes, that's awesome. I have a pork belly in the freezer that I need to smoke. Uh, Joe said, smoke it like a brisket. I'm like, mm, I want to do that. But we had so much meat in the fridge mm -hmm. that we needed to eat. It's because someone keeps making lazy engineered beef. Well, it was so and cheap. Over. It was like making this meal plan, and then Chris was like, "I have five more crock pots of meat." I'm like, <laughs> Mike says, "Scam likely is a mutual friend." We're both. Uh, they call you too. Eat. <laughs> um, Debbie says, "Now the chant is apple pie permanent flavor, not seasonal." Mm -hmm. We'll see how it sells. I actually haven't Love done the analysis yet. Yeah, we should do that. It's uh, been Jessica long says. Enough. I just got my keto chow starter kit. Looking forward to trying it. I always joke saying there isn't one food that I can eat every day to sustain me. I think I wished keto chow into existence. I think you did too. I'm glad you did that. That was well, fun. Uh, funny, Jessica, that just reminded me of uh, Amy Berger, mm -hmm. uh, Two It Nutrition. Mm -hmm. she, she does keto without the crazy. She posted a video today um, where she talks about keto chow. And she said when she first met us, she's yeah. like, oh, it's Shake, shake people. Shake people. We don't need the shakes. Why are you making shakes? Keto <laughs> doesn't use shakes. Watch was, that video. It was really good. She, she really, here. really articulated the number one problem that people have with keto chow yeah. when they first hear about it. They're like, yeah. look, keto is eating ancestrally appropriate food. Yes. Yes. Uh, she's like, why would you need this? And then she's like, I started running into these people who needed a liquid diet or they needed this, they needed mm -hmm. that, or they had an elderly um, parent who did not want to do a keto diet, but they needed nutrition. Mm -hmm. And she's like, and people started using this and they were asking me about it. And then I actually like met the yeah. Keto chow people and tried it myself. And I, I was like, Amy oh, wow. So this is actually, I still remember the first time I met Amy. Yeah. It was at KetoCon. Yep. Because I'd met her on the cruise. Yeah, you had met her on the cruise. I, mean, I liked her shoes so much. Yeah. And we went and sat by her She's during so uh, Maria Emmerich's presentation. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we've been friends ever since. She's so she's so great. She's so smart. She is fantastic. I, I feel like she's like up here and I'm like the peon just looking yeah. up. We like, talked about her this morning. Thanks for being amazing. She's the one who said that um, 
Just because something is simple doesn't、mm-hmm. mean it's easy. Yeah, because a ketogenic diet is simple. No, you know, less carbs, higher fat. Yeah. No. And a you know what、uh, a、problems. marathon is simple. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's easy. Yeah.、Uh, Pam says, "Hey Heath, when you do、uh, strips of pork belly, smoke strips or go ahead and cut it into strips."、Uh, <laughs> Ollie says, "Who me? Couldn't be. Yes." It was snickered in. Oh, <laughs> Mimi says my hair has never been this she, long. Could you throw her under the bus like that? Well, you know, she can take it. She's got a Christmas permanent Christmas tree in a witch's cauldron in the corner. I know we made that just for her. Yeah. Mimi says my hair has never been this long. It's a matter of fact. I was shedding so much hair that I had to cut it. My hair grew back longer than it's ever been. Will you always use a minimum of one shake a day? Now, some of that's the biotin. A lot of that is the protein. Protein. Don't、yeah. be afraid of protein. Don't ever be afraid of protein. And if、yep. you're ever hungry and you want a snack, have some meat. Yes, and well, two crazy ketos and Bronson、mm-hmm. and Amy have、oh, yeah. hit on that a lot. That for a long time people were afraid of、I'm、afraid protein. of protein. They were like, oh, if you eat too much protein, it's going to convert into carbohydrates because、that、of gluconeogenesis. Here's the thing: your body can make glucose. From protein, but it can also use the glycerol、mm-hmm. from a triglycerides to make glucose, and so it will literally make、What、glucose you if you need it out of the fat that you're eating. Yeah, so so cool, right? You don't need to fear protein. Our bodies are so anyway.、Amazing. We go on on that in a different video、mm-hmm. for a long time, but、um, yeah, please don't fear protein. You're probably not getting enough. So don't be afraid of protein. Yep. Eat a、uh, can of tuna fish. Mildred says I'm making chocolate keto chop cookies to take to my doctor's office. Yay! It's amazing. <laughs> Mildred, I love your name.、It's、so cute. Lori says switch grocery in Canada is great with selling keto chop. Yes. Yes. yes.、Um, and Lisa says thanks so much for bringing back pina colada.、Uh, Matreya says I'm in favor of lots of beef. Yes, you、mm-hmm. are. Definitely. Mike says thank、beef、you for bringing back apple pie. We had to do it. Love that.、Yeah, I I don't think I could have stood people asking for apple pie every <laughs> live stream any longer. <laughs> Becca says my Chow Club box finally came. Yeah. Becca says early tonight. Yes, yes, we are.、Mm-hmm. I'm still at work. I guess I'll try. I'll catch the replay after. Sorry, May. Yeah, we we had to do it early because our kids are have a、uh, choir performance, and、yeah. the two crazy ketos are doing their live stream early. That's right. So we. Step on each other. Yeah, we turn into keto chow. Lengthened my mom's life. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you, Crystal, and we're we're glad we could help out with that.、Uh, Rosa said, "I started taking the shakes from December 1st, taking advantage of the Black Friday offer." Yay!、Oh, I take it to my work every single day in a nursing home, and even the old peeps want to take it. Oh wow! <laughs> you should say, you should message me, and we should send you some to share with your with your old peeps. It's true. <laughs> Except not peeps like the ones that you put on a roasting stick. Yeah, yeah, not peeps. Your old friends. <laughs> yeah, I actually have a scar from、um, roasting the marshmallow peeps, peeps because it has a layer of yeah that hurts melted sugar that burns like sugar sugar and water. Michelle says, "Good evening. I love keto chow, but I seem to have tummy issues all the time.、Mm. I use butter or heavy cream. Do you have any recommendations?" Uh, you could try、uh, avocado oil. You could.、That、my recommendation, based on、uh, some stuff that Christy Davis of the Keto Village tried out,、mm-hmm. was using some beef gelatin. Oh, yeah, a teaspoon. a teaspoon per serving.、Um, and there's more information if you search for keto chow gelatin、mm-hmm. on the internet. You'll find several videos where Christy shows how to use it. We have a video talking about how to use it, but that can help significantly with people's tummy issues. Yeah. So we should have thought of that earlier. Uh, Rose said, "I need another shaker." Ellen says, "Meat is the best." Yes, it is. It is. Well, and a lot、it's、of people、best. are like, "Why do you have shakes? You should just eat whole foods." I know we should. Absolutely, definitely. There's a reason I made the lazy engineer shredded beef so recipe. So he could just heat that up and eat. I、it. am so lazy. Actually, have a thing of the shredded beef in the refrigerator right there.、Oh. I was going to eat some of that as well. You do not eat dinner either.、You、didn't eat breakfast or lunch. <laughs> well, I. I was testing chocolate peanut butter keto chow,、right. so that's what you had for lunch. And I had two halves、mm. of a different test. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, meat is the best. Kathy says chow box was delivered. Woohoo! Yay, Kathy!、Um, Michelle says thank you all for the response. I'll try all of that. Yay!、Um, Young Hoggers said just tried this today for an interview. 
Really? Cool. That's an interesting thing. Like someone was interviewing you and said, hey, try these. Um, I got a thing from Art Studio that said that they were doing that. Oh, so I cool. wonder if that... Well, welcome, by yeah, the way. Glad you're here. Um, it is good. Um, my personal belief is that a meal replacement shake that doesn't leave you going, oh, I want some more. That's delicious. Gone. I'm so sad. Uh, isn't going to be very effective. Yeah. And well, look how amazing Miriam's hair looks today. That's right. <laughs> it has to do with Keith Chow. <laughs> you haven't noticed that? You have been saying that all day. I, I have not seen that. Uh, I should look at the hidden messages. You should look at the hidden messages. Constantly every day. That should be our new um, okay. thumbnail image uh, words. What, what is the word? <laughs> look how cute Miriam's hair is. Okay. <laughs> Mimi says beef gelatin didn't mm. do it for me, but lactate did the trick. With the oh, okay, yeah. okay. But do you have to still take it, like, all the That's time? It's a good question. Uh, Andrew says, I was going through my singles today, and I and put packages together for some coworkers. Oh, they were so thrilled to get them today. You're so nice to share. Yeah. That's so awesome. You're a friend of the clock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you remember Liar Liar? I, I remember that yeah. show. Anyway, Radical Geek says, Miriam's hair always looks amazing. Thank you. Um, let's see. Well, that's all the stuff that we wanted to talk about. Yeah, we actually probably should go. Yeah. Now, in case you missed it, mm -hmm. um, tomorrow morning, we normally do our live stream at 11.15 a.m. Eastern, which is uh, 9.15 a.m. Mountain. Mountain. Um, I have a video scheduled at that time mm -hmm. that we went through. Miriam and I sat down and recorded all the stuff. We were little talking heads in the corner. corner. Uh, all the stuff about the new My Chow box. So there's two different versions. There's the surprise box, mm -hmm. which won't be available until January, January 1st. 1st. And then there's the one that you can customize. And Boy, howdy, can you customize it? It's so cool. And we go through and show how you can change your shipping date, how you can order it, and then go, you know what? I actually want to do the different size, and I want mm. these flavors instead. So uh, we go through the whole thing and show you how you can do it. And I cut out the part where I accidentally recorded my credit card, my credit card number. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really glad we weren't doing it as a live stream. That's right. That was awesome. Um, it's going to be a premiere. And so we'll be on there um, chatting away if you want to yep. chat. Okay. And as soon as it finishes, we'll do a live we'll stream. We'll start the live stream. Mm -hmm. So that'll be tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Okay. A bunch of other people commented. Stephanie says, I really wonder if keto wouldn't greatly help Alzheimer's old folks. Yeah. So that's, that's one of the Amy Berger's uh, points is that it would yep. probably really help. Yes. Um, so the diet they're giving in nursing homes is so carbon heavy. It yes, makes me sad. Yes. Well, that's one of the things that I actually asked Amy when we found out that you could mix up keto chow with melted butter. Mm -hmm. It would stay in suspension and not yes. come out. I'm like, hey, Amy, what's your thoughts on keto chow with coconut, coconut oil? oil? Because coconut oil has such a beneficial effect on people who have neurological yes. issues, specifically Alzheimer's and stuff like that. And she's like, wow, that's. That's a, that's a great idea. I'm like, yeah, hey. the problem with coconut oil is if you do too much, then you're going to get the runs. So you have to be yes. careful with coconut oil. I think with any oil, really, just have to, if you don't have that much, if yep. you're not eating any other food, that's when it's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Tracy says, better, Nathan, better late than never. Nathan Lover. <laughs> like, Bajet says, I got two of my non-keto coworkers drinking keto chow. That's <laughs> awesome. Thank um, you. By the way, um, if you are wanting to do keto chow without a ketogenic diet, there's a minimum, as far as we can tell, a minimum of 10 grams oh, of yes. fat that you need in each serving. To in absorb those vitamins. And so that could be as little as like a tablespoon or so of um, heavy cream. Now, it just needs to be in your small intestine mm -hmm. when the keto chow is going through. So you could have some sort of fat along with it, mm -hmm. and that would be fine. Yep. Um, but... Little fat bomb. Okay, so Mimi says I just take lactate before I drink my shake. Okay, Perfect. there we go. And it seems to help. Gina says I even pointed it out earlier. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you did. Yes, You're she the did. Best. 
Sean is says, so cold. So cold. Uh, Dalva says, I told my prime care doctor about keto chow and today she wants to try it. Yes, message me and I'll send you some or send her some or whoever. Uh, what would be the best way for them to get a hold of you? Uh, reach out to customer service. On the website, there's a little button down at the bottom mm -hmm. and you can say, Miriam said, reach out to me and we'll send it to the doctor and then yep. I'll, I'll, I'll message you. I can email you. Uh, uh, Deronda says, I use coconut oil all the time. You just have to liquefy it. Yep. What yep. is that? Six o'clock? Yeah. Well, yeah. That. Time to leave. We got Well, go. it's it's off. <laughs> it's six minutes early. Oh. That thing doesn't keep very good time. Um, Alan says, how about coconut cream instead of heavy cream? Oh, that's do that. a good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has a little bit more... Um, Carbs. Well... I don't know if coconut cream has more carbs. I think it's a little bit more carbs mm -hmm. than heavy cream. Um, but Debbie that'd be yummy. And you could make it into ice cream. 76 drum bones. Hooray. Uh, Lori says, maybe I should use coconut oil to help with my neurological issues after my cervical fusion. Y yeah, try it. You, you may want to try that. It's really good, too, with the pina colada. Mm. Yep. Coconut. Uh, Andrew says, I've been looking for a chocolate pudding recipe. Can somebody give me... A link. Oh, yeah. To link that pudding pie that we had up. Is it still open? I don't know if I still have it on my... Nope, that's the that's tamale, the tamale pie, pie. Which is yummy. <laughs> it is... Um... Where is it? The, the, mm -hmm. the pudding. Keto chow. Nice. Keto chow pie, Joe Stopper. Yeah. There it is. Because you just, you just make the pudding without the... Yeah, make it make it without the crust. So good, love it. Oh, Lynette got it. She good job, got Lynette. It. Here, I'll put it so it shows up on you. The Facebooks. The Facebooks. Uh, Amy says, "Have you used peppermint chocolate for the fudge recipe?" Mm, no, that's a good no, idea. Just because enjoy the concert tonight. Thank you. Um, yeah, Radical Geek says tamale pie is all is a great recipe too. Yeah, it's so good. Okay, well, we gotta go. Mm -hmm. Thank you everybody for joining us. And make sure you tune in tomorrow. Weird to be here still. Yeah. Mm. Weird. I miss my people. Yeah, we're we'll gonna go, go see hang them out in with a minute. Them. All right. Well, you guys all have a fantastic night, and we will catch you tomorrow morning. Be safe. Be <laughs> kind to yourself. You're amazing. <laughs> Bye. Bye.